I am currently pregnant with my second IVF miracle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Y'all see that baby bump? What's up and welcome to the Phillips Fam Baby Journey. I am Raquel. For anybody that is new to the crew, but do not say a stranger, go ahead and join the family by hitting that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time a new episode is dropped. I bring new episodes every Sunday. Now I got one more favor to ask. You like that and you already want us to subscribe. You want us to hit the notification bell. I also want you to hit the thumbs up button to like this video. All right, now that we got all of that out the way, let's get into why we are here today. I'm gonna be sharing with you some things you can do to help prepare yourself for your IVF or IUI journey. And some of these tips to even work if you are trying to conceive a baby naturally. I am currently pregnant with my second IVF miracle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Y'all see that baby bump. And because since Sharon is caring, I'm gonna give you some news you can use so that you are successful as well. Now, my very first tip is to start taking supplements as soon as you decide that you want to conceive a child or you're going to be entering into the IVF process. You want to improve your egg quality. Now, this is not something that you can just do, you know, the day before your transfer, I'm sorry, the day before your egg retrieval or the day before your IUI. It takes two to four months to improve your egg quality. Now, for most people, it's going to take you a while before you get to the point where you're going to decide that, you know, we got to go the IVF route. You've probably been trying to conceive for several months and were unsuccessful, or, you know, you've talked to your doctor and they told you that that's going to be the, the route that you would be most successful in becoming a mother. And, you you know, you had to mull it over like, oh, it's expensive. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't know if I want to do this. But at that, at that point, once you're told that information, Start taking them supplements so that you can, you know, enhance your chances of possibly having a successful pregnancy because you have produced those high quality eggs. It's going to turn into embryos. It's going to turn into babies. Okay. Tip number two, act like you are already pregnant. And this has two different meanings for me. So the first part of it is, you know, preparing your mind that this is already done. God has already taken care of this for you. You know, you're filling your mind with positive vibes, positive thoughts. You saying, you know what? I got this. You know, that this is going to end up with me having my baby in hand because I, I know I'm pregnant. I know that this is going to work. I feel like one of the biggest things that plays a factor in, um, you know, you being successful with IVF, it's just, you know, manifesting and, you know, being positive and putting that out in the atmosphere. You got to claim but You can't be out here worrying and, you know, like, oh my God, I don't think it's going to work. And, you know, filling your mind with negative thoughts because if, if that's what you believe, then that's what you're going to receive. Also, if you already acting like you're pregnant, I mean, you ain't going to be drinking no alcohol. You're going to be eating healthier. And those are things that are going to help prepare your body to receive that baby. So if you're already in the mindset that, you know what, I can't drink. I can't be out here in these streets, you know, smoking or doing anything that's haphazard. Once you do get pregnant, you already, it's not like a huge change for you because you already been doing this for months. You already about that. You already about that pregnant life. And it's just going to make the transition even easier once you actually do get pregnant. I'm telling you, mindset, it's, it, it's more important than what you probably think in this whole process. Number three, you want to remove all the stress you can for your life. Now, for some of y'all, 
that may be hard because you may be in a stressful job, but you can't quit your job because you need your insurance benefits to help pay for IVF or to pay your, your bills or whatever. So <laughs> that may not be an option. But if you got some toxic relationships with people that are not necessities in your life, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut, cut the cord. You don't, you don't need that type of negative energy in your life. Like if you can get rid of the stress, do it. Because once again, going back to tip number two, a positive mindset is very important to the whole process. So if you got somebody that's, you know, stressing you out or you got something going on in your life that, you know, is keeping you unfocused on the blessing you're trying to receive, you don't, you don't be needing that in your life. Just get rid of that. Make, make, make your life as smooth and easy as you possibly can. Number four. So this is, I mean, two, three, and four kind of all tied in together for me. Number four, you want to, you know, you can go about this a couple of different ways, but you want to come up with stuff to occupy your mind and your time. Because what they say, an idle mind is the devil's playground. So I personally binge watch a lot of shows on Netflix so that I wasn't worried about oh my gosh, is this going to work? Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of taking these shots. Or, oh my gosh, this is so expensive. I'm too busy worried about the next episode that's about to play <laughs> on Netflix and the characters. And I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I have immersed myself in somebody else's life. Like I have removed myself from my life <laughs> temporarily. And I'm living in the fantasy world just so that I can, you know, keep any negative vibes, any negative thoughts, out of my mind now tv may not be your thing a hobby works just as well just do something that is occupying your time so that you don't have the time to be online researching the failure rates for ivf or iui that's all stuff that you should have looked at prior to even start the process anyway but like i said mindset is is very important in this whole process and my fifth tip is Find a tribe. So while you're going through the whole process, you're going to have questions. And you're going to want to know if something's normal. You're going to want some tips on maybe how to make some stuff a little bit easier to handle. Or, you know, did your doctor tell you to do this too? Because this sounds kind of crazy to me. Like, I belong to two infertility groups on Facebook. One is called Black Women and Infertility. And the other one is called Braving Infertility Together. Um, those are just two that I belong to, but there's a ton of groups out there. If you just do your research, I'm sure you can find some that's local to your area. Um, because having a support system around you is great, especially since your friends may not be going through the same journey as you are going through. So they may not be able to relate to what's going on in your life. You know, they won't be able to, you know, to give you the, the funny jokes <laughs> about the shots or to give you tips on how to numb your booty so the shots don't hurt. But if you find your tribe, that will help make the process run so much smoother. Well, I'm hoping that these tips are going to help you conceive your little bundle of joy. If you have any questions about anything that I've said today, or if you have any additional tips you want to share with ladies that may be watching this video, make sure you leave those in the comment section below. And until next week, remember that your miracle is on the way. I'm out.